today's episode, we unearth the remarkable story of a 1995 hit song that wasn't crafted over several weeks of meticulous hard work. Instead, it was written in just a single night, driven by the timeless desire to impress a girl. So let's go back now to 1995 when the song's journey began with Eric Bazilian, a founding member of the rock band The Hooters. Known for his guitar playing and songwriting abilities, he was in the midst of collaborating with Joan Osborne on her debut album, Relish. Among the creative flurry, there was one composition that stood out. Not for its complexity or planned brilliance, but for its spontaneous birth as a romantic gesture. Eric Bazilian recalls the unforgettable evening when inspiration struck. I wrote that song one night, the quickest song I ever wrote to impress a girl. That girl was not just any girl, however, but someone who would go on to play a significant role in his life, as Eric Bazilian added, which worked because we're married and have two kids. In that moment of artistic spontaneity, he wasn't intentionally crafting a potential chart topper. He was simply expressing his feelings in the most authentic way he knew. Little did he know that this impromptu creation would catch the ear of producer Rick Chertoff during the album sessions. When Eric Bazilian played the demo for Rick Chertoff, Joan Osborne, and fellow collaborator Rob Hyman, Rick Chertoff saw something in it, prompting Joan Osborne to then try singing it. Eric Bazilian later described the pivotal moment in an interview. It really hadn't even occurred to me that it was something that Joan might do, but Rick, in his wisdom, asked Joan if she thought she could sing it. And I think it was better that he asked it that way rather than, do you want to sing it? Because the answer to that might not have been yes. From its humble origins to a fully-fledged recording, the song not only made it onto Joan Osborne's album, its introspective lyrics and memorable melody captivated listeners, propelling it to peak at number four on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 and earning it three Grammy nominations. Released on November 21st of 1995, the song One of Us by Joan Osborne not only defined her career but also remains an enduring symbol of the 1990s music scene. Now let's take a listen to a few excerpts from this 1995 hit. Here's One of Us by Joan Osborne. God had a name, what would it be and would you Now that's what we call a sonic gem. 